in recent years, China has been developing a stealth strategic bomber, very similar to the B-2 bomber. A few photos have surfaced online lately, possibly revealing one of the concept designs of this latest Chinese bomber, named the H-20. The photos show a wind tunnel model with a flying wing configuration, similar to the B-2 bomber. This metallic test model could be a developmental aid to iron out the aerodynamic issues of the H-20 bomber. Photos cover both the top and bottom surface of the model. It is not hard to see the model has quite a few major differences compared to the layout of the US B-2 bomber. There are also a few photos of a display model being handled by a few civilians, one of whom appears to be a pilot in military uniform. This display model seems to be a gift from the state-run Aviation Industry Corporation of China to a certain guest. The source of all these photos is unknown, but somehow the configuration of the model, photographed closely resembles a design concept artwork published by a Chinese magazine. More importantly, the model in general matches an official promotion video from the corporation in 2018, which showed a 3D animation of a bomber below the cover. In the animation, the plane also has a similar outline to the B-2 stealth bomber. All these add up to improve the authenticity of the wind tunnel model. In my own opinion, if this is not the final design configuration of the H-20 bomber, it could be one of the concepts developed. At least it will share some characteristics of the H-20 prototype in production. What is most interesting, however, is the adjustable tail design on this model. When the US developed the B-2, there was a major challenge to keeping a big flying wing configuration plane stable in flight without the assistance of the tails. On this Chinese model, two adjustable tails seem to be placed next to the engine exhausts. Some online sources claim that they can be raised when it is necessary to have greater flight stability, such as at low speed, and can be dropped to a flat position to align with the main wing, reducing radar wave reflection signature. Again, we don't know if this model shows the final design of the Chinese stealth long-range bomber. Based on how secretive the Chinese kept their military projects, this is most likely just a design concept or a flying wing design that was lost in the design competition. Some also argue this might be a supersonic flying wing design. I don't think that is the case. It is too difficult to design and build a stealth supersonic strategic bomber for the reason that the overall aerodynamic design leads to subsonic cruise speed, making it unlikely to break the sound barrier. Other than the most interesting parts, the model in many ways shares the design language of the B-2 bomber. A big, long, stretched main wing forms the flying wing layout. Two pilots are in the center cockpit. All openings and airframe edges adopt radar wave signature depression methods with carefully crafted angles. It is actually the last piece of the Chinese nuclear triad. Once the H-20 is in service, China will have it working together with land-based Dongfeng intercontinental ballistic missiles, plus submarine-launched ballistic missiles from the 094-class nuclear submarines, forming a nuclear strike force that is almost impossible to eliminate and can effectively strike back at the opponent. Prior to the H-20 bomber, the Chinese military had no airborne platform to serve in this role. It has been speculated that the H-20 bomber will make its first flight around 2022 or 2023. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe, share and comment. It will really help us developing this channel and bring you more videos about Chinese military news. Thank you.